get a nice warm golden bronzy sun-kissed look using drugstore products and no heavy foundation so this is perfect for anyone that doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup or you just want to change things up a little bit so I wanted to do drugstore products only just simply because it's more practical let's let's keep it real everyone can't get their hands on high-end products yes I do have some high-end products but I want to make sure that in my videos I'm teaching you how to do things and I want to make sure that everyone can get their hands on the things that I'm using so let's go ahead and jump into it really really quick I'm going to go ahead and fill no actually no I'm going to prime my skin first this is a new product for me that I just got this is the primer argan wear and it's argan oil with coconut water it's physician's formula and it came in a really cute little box here I think this is the only reason why I bought it because the package had caught my eye in Ulta so this is what the packaging looks like and so I do have oily skin however I'm gonna try this and we're gonna see how this goes so I sprayed it on my face last night the only thing that I do not like about it is when I spray it on my face I feel like it only gets the outside of my face and right on the center of my nose I guess that's just the way the little sprayer thing is here but we're gonna go ahead okay so this definitely it's not greasy but it's definitely something that's for hydrating, which is all right because this is just going to help give you the more of a golden sun-kissed look. I don't mind looking a little bit more glowier if I'm doing light makeup. But if I'm going for like a full beat, no, I don't want glowy at all. But you know, just light summertime, I'm for it. I don't mind it at all. Ooh, I got that right. And the consistency of it. It's not greasy, but it's not like a, a water spray either. It definitely has a glow to it. So if you're someone that is looking for a glow, you'll love it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of rub that in because, like I said, the sprayer on that is a little bit weird. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows really quickly. This is the Eyelore Brow Pencil in dark brown yeah dark brown um, I like to use the brand that brand of lashes so when I saw that they had a brow pencil I was like oh okay we'll give it a try and I like it okay so I just went ahead and set my eyelids primed them I like to use concealer to prime my eyelids just simply because they are very very oily so I'll prime them with any concealer that I have set them with a translucent powder or a powder of the same skin tone as me and then I'm good to go I'm not going to show you guys any eye makeup in this tutorial just simply because we really want to focus on the skin I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way Okay, so we already primed the skin. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of eye cream. This is the Survey Eye Repair, and I got this from Target. I believe it was about 13 bucks or so. I have found that whenever I put this on, or I'm, I'm sure any eye cream for that matter, up under my eyes before, right before I get ready to do my makeup, it just helps it because my under eye area is actually very dry. That's common for a lot of people, so this just helps everything. Thing. go on nice and smooth no creasing no drying out all right so that's nice and hydrated for my pores on my face I'm going to use this L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base this is just in general one of my favorite eye primer not eye primers um face primers I've been using the cover effects I like that to mattifying primer but this here this stuff it goes on nice and smooth very creamy like if you like a super super mattifying face this is good if you like something that want that you want to just kind of fill in the pores that's why I like it it makes my skin look nice and smooth so we did already prime it with that argan spray but this is just in those cheek areas where my pores look kind of big I'm just gonna rub that on in my problem area and this is like a light pink shade in the jar but when you put it on it really just goes right into the skin and there's no color to it whatsoever so even if you are a darker skin tone you can still use this so i'm basically putting this on pores and where i am oily at all right let's get into it for the products that i'm going to be using i'm not actually using foundations i'm going to be using bb creams and if you know me, I'm not a fan of BB creams. I think they're stupid because I'm like this. Especially if you're paying for a high-end foundation, 
if I'm paying for a foundation, I need for it to easily be medium to full coverage. Like, I don't want to pay 30 to 40 bucks for something and it's not full coverage. To me, that doesn't make sense. If you want a BB cream, take one of your foundations, mix a little of your face moisturizer in there, and bam, you got it. But with these, because they are Maybelline and they are drugstore, I was kind of like, uh, what the heck. I really wasn't expecting too much from this Maybelline Dream BB cream. It's the 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. Yo, this right here... This is very, very impressive. When I put this on, I was kind of like, whoa, it says um, sheer tint. It, it gives you a little bit of coverage. So for me, I'm here for it. I like this. Like I said, I'm not someone that's looking for like a full beat, full coverage. Like if you see some imperfections on my skin, I don't really care for that. My main reason for wearing foundation is to, because I want to balance everything out. Just make everything look even a little bit more brighter. So if you see a bump or an acne or something, I don't really bug out too much. But because I love this so much, I picked up this product the other day. This is the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB 8-in-1 BB Balm. This one has SPF of 25 in it, but this has like that golden tint to it. It's not shimmer. It's not, no, it's not glittery. Like, I don't like those big, you know the glitter gloss you used to put on your lips a little roll on back in the day, and it had like the glitter in it, and your lips would be blinking from here all the way to Alabama? No, it does not have that kind of glitter in it. This is just like um, a little bit of a, a luminosity, I guess, of just a gold sheer tint. So we're going to start off with this, and I am going to place this. Let me get a little mix and tray here. All right, so I'm just going to put some of this. You can do the back of your hand, your tray, whatever. I have some, oh man, I got stuff on my shirt. Dang it. I have, I was swatching some eyeliners on the back of my hand, so... I'm just gonna put it here. Then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So it's just, you know, golden tone. And I'm just going to rub this. Ooh, I forgot one of the most important steps color correction. I do this every single time. LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange. I think I just get so into what I'm doing and excited that I just wanna hurry up and dive in and show you. That I forget one of the most important things especially if you're going to be using a BB cream you really want to color correct because if you're someone that likes a little bit more of full coverage you're using a BB cream you're just simply not going to get that so just make sure you are correcting correcting concealing whatever it is you need to do okay moving on so with this, actually how I did the other day, I just rubbed it right onto my skin. And what I did was I only put it on the cheek area. Reason why I did that is because I am naturally oily. And honestly, by the time my natural oils push through, my whole face is going to be blinking. And I don't need my entire face to be blinking out like that. And I don't need my entire face to have that glow to it just simply because I'm not into it. So I'm putting this just kind of on the cheeks, on the side of my face here. I'm not taking it to my forehead or my nose. And this is just going to help give it that, you know, that little extra oomph, that glow. Okay, then I'm just going to put some on the blender and then just blend it out. And this is a Real Technique sponge. It is damp. And you can put some in the temple area too. But if you're someone that has drier skin, by all means, put it all over your face. Okay, after that, we're going to move on to this. And I'm going to just squirt some of this out. And both of my shades in these, well, for the BB Bronze, that one is Medium Deep Bronze. And then this one is just the Deep Sheer Tint. Now I'm going to switch over to a stippling brush for this one, just simply because it is sheer coverage. And if you're going to use a sponge, remember the sponge is going to soak up a lot of the product. So because we don't want to take away too much of it, I'm just going to push this in. My first time wearing this combination together was this past Sunday because it was Marilla's little sister's birthday and I you know I wasn't trying to go in full beat. I really didn't even want to put on any makeup, but I just wanted to try this out before I told you, before I did it on camera, and I loved it. We were outside 
practically all day long it was hot i was in the sun i was protected because it has spf and i didn't have like a cake face on so this was good and this is a real technique stippling brush with the stippling brush i like it because you just push it right on into the skin i am not a fan of foundation brushes because i feel like when you're swirling and moving it around it's kind of like what's the point because you're just moving it and you're not setting it in place and also i could never use a foundation brush without it being streaky maybe it's just me but i always aim for a beauty blender or a stippling brush and as you guys can see the coverage on this is ridiculous. Okay, now I'm just going in with the sponge and I'm just pressing everything in, making sure everything's nice and blended. Now this is going to pick up any extra product that I don't need on the face. Pretty good. Now this, I gotta set this. I'm oily. I, it just... There's just no way I could walk out the door like this. Otherwise, it would be a hot, greasy, slippery mess. It would not be cute. So my issue is I have not found a translucent drugstore setting powder that will work for brown skin. If you know of one, let me know. This is a product that you cannot buy in drugstores or in any stores for that matter because it is the Sasha Buttercup powder. Um... I guess a drugstore alternative for this would maybe be the Bed Nye Banana Powder. I've never used that before. This has been the only thing that I've ever used. So this is what I'm going to be using for my face to set everything. I'm going to start off with my Real Techniques setting brush first. And I always like to push this up under my eyes. In the winter time, I did have to kind of do away with this because it was making me too, too matte and my face was, my under eyes were so dry. But now, since we have hit the 90 degree mark, as far as the temperature goes, I'm good. And then I'm just going to set the rest of my face. I'm stupid oily right around my brows. Don't know why. Alright, so face is set. Like I said, if you know of any face powders, hit me up. Okay, next we're going to do some bronzing. And this is the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze. I had to buy this off of Amazon because you, I don't know why you can't find CoverGirl Queen products in stores anymore. Are they discontinued? I don't know. So I'm going to use this here and this little brush. Okay, so I got this off of Amazon and it was supposed to be the NARS Eda Brush Dupe. I have never used that brush before, but I saw it kind of looked like it and it was only $2. So I picked up a few of them, but I think it was so funny that when I got it in the mail, it actually says NARS here. It's just like, I know this isn't the right, this isn't the technical one, but I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. I thought that was kind of funny. So I'm just going to swirl this in here. And I'm just going to start bronzing up the face. Woohoo, I got a lot. And this is, I mean, this is a good brush for two bucks. I mean, that's definitely drugstore price point. And then I'm just going to swirl it around because I don't want that, you know, that sharp, sharp contour. I just want to add a little bit of color to my face. Add some dimension. Then I'm just going to do the same thing right around my hairline. Which I probably really don't even need to because I'm wearing a headband today. I've been wearing headbands probably, shh, I don't know going on my second week now just because my hair it's not a pixie cut it's not a bob I don't know what my hair is right now but you know we're just sweet we thugging it out it's gonna be okay just gotta get over the hump then I'm just going to take a little here and just kind of go on the sides of my nose And this is a really, really soft brush. I was, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <sighs> now for the fun part, star of the show. This is Makeup Re Revolution London. 
I've heard of this, but I for some reason didn't realize it was sold in Ulta. And I, I saw the REV and I just assumed it was Revlon. I was just like, whatever, keep on moving. But then I went back to it because I was like, dang, that color is so pretty. And I was like, wait, this is Makeup Revolution. And it's the Vivid Baked Bronzer. Brown girls. Okay, so obviously... Nine times out of ten in the drugstore, we're not going to find anything that's going to technically bronze us. This is the only drugstore product, I remember any product for that matter that I know of, that's affordable, that will bronze our skin. So anytime you see something in the store that says bronzer, baked bronzer like this, this is going to be our highlight, okay? So anything that's got like that golden rose gold tone, perfect. We can use it. So I'm going to open this up. Look at that. So pretty. And I am going to just take, what do I want to use? All right, so I'm just going to take a fan brush first. Let me swatch it so that way you can see just how ridiculous this is. Pretty. And I'm just going to take a fan brush. Honestly, I don't know where this fan brush is from has no more writing on it but you can get a fan brush from anywhere and bam glowing and i'm not really um this is i'm using this as my blush basically so i am normally i take my blush a little bit farther back but i am i'm placing it right where i normally highlight but i'm just kind of taking it farther back and blending it out as if it was a blush and then I will put just a little bit down the center of my nose. I don't like it on the tip. Just down the center. Typically don't do this, but just for the heck of it, I'll put a little on my forehead. Just simply because I got a big old forehead. If you have a big forehead, highlighting it is really not a good idea. But I just want to add a little bit more of that bronziness to my skin. And I feel like if you saw me just walking down the street, you would not think that this was just a BB cream on my face. I guarantee 100% you would assume that this was a foundation. And I got a little happy there in the center of my forehead. Okay, so can you guys see this makeup revolution? Rockin' world. This is my new favorite thing in the whole wide world. Oh, let me show you. Oh, I should have used this one. This, okay, so I was trying to buy a fan brush from Morphe, and I just clicked on the first one. This is the M558. This is teeny, teeny, tiny. So here's like the standard size one. So this would be a good one just to kind of, you know, go down the center. And in fact, I will do that. Because I don't mind it down the center of my nose. I just don't like it on the tip. Don't think it looks good. And then just to blend things out a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl bronzer and just add a little bit more here. All right, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. Just put on some liner, mascara, and lips, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So I finished up the rest of my face all I basically did was threw on some winged liner mascara and a little bit of lip gloss so I'll get close up so you guys can see the look and that pretty much is is it for this super super simple great for the summertime great for someone if you want to just look a little bit more you know bronzier gold and warm tone or if you're just someone that just does not like to wear a lot of foundation like myself this look is perfect for you and like i said this works for the summertime because you're not throwing on a bunch of products on your face and you want this to look a little bit glowier like if your bb cream looks a little bit more glowier or in my case greasier and oilier than normal it's okay it's not gonna look too terrible and then you know with all of this gold and bronzy goodness going on it's it's good so i hope you guys like this video please let me know what you thought leave your comments below and i will see you guys soon thank you for watching i'll see you